Hello YouTube, we made it to a third video. I'm pretty happy about that, but it's not the third video I wanted to really show you because I'm waiting for some things in the mail and I think we're going to have to wait for those to a fourth video. But that's what fourth videos are made for, right? So that's okay. Um, I've got uh, an issue I got to clear up from my last video. It's all about this really bad copy of Avengers number 55. Yeah, it's nothing bad. I just uh, I still got it, and I probably hold on to it for a little while. But there's a little story to that. Um, when I found this, I passed it up, and a buddy of mine that I was uh, looking for comics with happened to uh, stumble upon it after I had. I even showed it to him, and uh, he uh, he actually said, "Hey, why don't you take it?" He's and uh, I still had to give it a second thought. And he says, you know, if you don't take it, I will. And that was enough for me to go ahead and, and buy it. Now, it's, it's all about condition. I'm not really into it. I know there's a movie up and everything. But uh, the truth of the matter is, I have a friend that uh, could have bought that up and probably flipped it for some cash, no matter how much uh, profit he was to make. It wasn't going to be uh, huge or anything, but it still would have been a profit because it was only like five bucks. Um, the thing, uh, or maybe the topic, uh, or question of this video is, uh, I want to know if you guys actually go out shopping by yourselves, or you have friends, or if you've ever had a situation like that where you've had a, a friend that, uh, you know, just did the good deed and, uh, let you have the, uh, ha uh have the priority of a comic book. Uh, to show, uh comments below after the video and uh, I'd like to know about that okay so uh, the first one here today you've been looking at it for a while sorry um, found in the dollar bin um, I'm not the big Archie fan but you know after uh, they made Archie relevant again I decided to look into it with this Cheryl Blossom number one now, it's not Cheryl Blossom number one. It's actually Cheryl Goes to Hollywood number one. But if you find it in the dollar bin, I'm okay with that, and I'm going to read it. Okay. A um, couple more out of the dollar bin. I've got a Zantana number three variant. I'm actually considering following up on this and completing the run on this because it's got some decent artwork. Although I'm not a fan of the variant artwork, the regular series is actually pretty good. Number three, the regular series. Um, you can see what I mean by the artwork. Uh, I'm really liking this. So I'm going to continue on hunting for these. Found them in the dollar bin, so it's uh, the price is right, and I picked these up also. Number four. And I've also got number seven. And... Yeah, number eight. I think that was it. Uh, this video, I didn't really realize it, but I think I've got mostly all female appearances. Um, that's just a coincidence. So anyway, referring back to this buddy of mine, uh, he's a big Miss Marvel fan. So he's been snatching them up left and right. But at the same time, he's been uh, giving me some tips saying, hey, you got to complete this run. I don't have a single run in my whole collection. So he gave me a challenge. He said, hey, why don't you just go and finish this run? And, uh, you know, it'll be fun for you. I said, okay, but I have to get them at the right price. So I've been getting these at the right price with the help of my buddy. Uh, so uh, Miss Marvel seems to be the, uh, the run I'm going to go for. I started off with Miss Marvel number two. Uh, Miss Marvel number three. Uh, the, the one thing I noticed about these books, though, on Miss Marvel series, the inks on them started to uh, bleed. If you take a look, maybe at that white patch right here, you'll see that it's part of it's actually pink. And I noticed with a lot of the reds in these issues, the the inks were bleeding. So uh, I really got to be careful on a. Uh, which ones I, I, I get. Now these I got off of, off of 
a website, so I wasn't able to get the scans. But, uh, you know, if I find them in the wild, I'll, it's, it's going to be much easier. I got number four. Number six. Uh, missing number five, but that's okay. I'm missing quite a, quite a few of them. That's just part of uh, completing a run. I would hate to go and, and get a, a whole run all together. Uh, it's just not fun that way. I can't, uh, it's, it takes, it takes a lot of the, a lot of the fun out of it. I'm not really into buying a whole run at one time. I uh, got number seven. And finished it off with number 23. Next up, I uh, got this one at a local show that's uh, Frankincense. It's every Wednesday and Sunday in my area. So we uh, go down there uh, every once in a while. We pick up some books. Got this one for $2. Fantastic for number 204. Uh, first appearance of... Nova Prime. There's another one. We uh, after that we went down, or actually before that we uh, had a, a little show in LA, and uh, I picked up a couple books there, and that was fun. Uh, we picked up Swamp Thing number fifty. It's uh, first appearance of um, Justice League Dark. I, I flipped through it. It really wasn't for me, even though it had Satana in it. Eh, it didn't do much for me, so uh, I'll see what I can do with that. Also at the show, I picked this one up. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 135. It wasn't a bad price at all. Uh, at a price tag, 15 bucks, and I snagged that one up. This is another little mini run I'm going to have to start looking for, although it's not... Uh, it's not budget budget friendly. It's not easy on the wallet. The John uh, Byrne uh, series of X Men that's gonna set me back quite a few dollars. But uh, you know I've got got to get to it someday. Another book I found at the show Defenders number twenty seven for a buck. That's a uh, cameo appearance of Starhawk, and I said okay. Uh, I didn't find the first parents, but the cameo parents was just as good. And I flipped through it and I liked it. There's another one I got. Um, during the week, uh, I got this in the mail. It's uh, DC Superstars number 11. Uh, classic Santana cover. And uh, man, it's... Uh, it's pretty good. I, I really like it. It's, kind of, it's, it's really retro, and uh, the inside's good as well. Uh, I believe I got this one for about seven bucks. Last one. While I was at the show today, or not the show today, uh, it was uh, over the last weekend, was Shana the She-Devil number one. This one is in much better condition than my other one, and uh, I finally got to upgrade it. And I'm really happy about that. This one only cost me about twelve fifty, and uh, geez, I, I'm so much, so much happier now that I've got this to the collection. Uh, the whites are white, the pages are good, and uh, it's it's funny because you take it out of its out of its sleeve, and uh, it's it's almost like a new comic book. There's a little, a little bit of browning, maybe a crease here and there, but uh, uh, I feel much better for it. So anyway, um, that's it for today. And uh, I believe the fourth haul will be coming up shortly. As soon as I get that stuff in the mail, which will probably take forever. But hey, it's something to look forward to. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. And thank you very much. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And I'll see you next time.